We're coming up to that time of year again when we're talking about New Year's resolutions and getting our cell set up for the year. It's funny about New Year's resolutions that there's been plenty of studies done on New Year's resolutions and it finds that it's only 8% of people actually stick to their New Year's resolution. When you think about it, it actually makes sense because, you know, start of the year, you know, you think, oh, it's, you know, during the summer, I want to go out to the beach, you know, and you know, join the time off and then uh, all of a sudden it's Australia Day and it goes into February and then we're all starting back at work and the social calendar fills up as well. And then all of a sudden it gets to Easter, you're kind of like, oh, well, all those New Year's resolutions are completely forgotten about and so forth. But my challenge to you is, well, what, what are you going to do differently this year, this upcoming year, in comparison to the year that's just gone? What are you going to do differently? And I think for most people, it is sitting down, making sure that we follow through all those things that we should be doing. You know, and when it comes, whether it's physical, whether it's, you know, reading more, travel, whatever it might be, now's the time to create the plan and stick to it. And when it comes to your finances, I want to make sure that this year, this is the year that teachers and nurses are able to build wealth for themselves, build wealth for their families, and build wealth for the community around them.